Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Yes, definitely is Chu here. Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. This is the channel where we teach you how to do actual Chinese takeaway food at home, telling you all the secrets that a lot of people don't want to know, which is basically MSG. It's absolutely fine for you. If you don't want to put it in, don't put it in. It's absolutely optional, but you won't get the takeaway flavor if you don't. There, said that bit. We're also going to start doing traditional Chinese food and Malaysian street food. We've got a Chinese takeaway ourselves, a fish and chip shop as well actually. We also do Malaysian street food, that's where our family started four or five generations ago. Then we went to Chinese takeaway food. A lot of our family still do the Malaysian street food, which is something that we are very proud of doing because we use really good family recipes. Our family food store back in Brunei is and was well known for all of its food. So today we are doing something that is massive in Singapore. My cousin gets told off by his mum for buying it constantly because it's basically just spam and rice. Now this is our first... It used to be poor man food. It used to be poor man food and now they're Rich going out. Food. Yeah, they're literally spending, I don't know, what what's, what's a can of spam? Two pound? They're going out and spending five quid on a bowl that's got less than yeah, a quarter like of the eight, uh, meat. About like eight, eight or nine pound, yeah. I yeah. Like, yeah. Is it? Well, equal well then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this we, the reason we're doing this is because this is real street food. I know someone's gonna go, this is just spam, it's uh, absolutely pointless. Jog on, yeah. it's delicious. Yes, it is, try it. Try it, yeah, I exactly, try it. it. Try it, and then if you don't like it, say, I don't like it. That's fair enough, at least you've tried it. If, you, if you're just gonna say something. Before trying it. Yeah, go don't. away. Yes. <laughs> Shh. It's really easy to do and it's really satisfying. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, it's not It's not the most healthy out there. We, we, we this, that was one of my favorite one with the rice, but we we steam it. You can steam it. Steam the spam? Yeah. Yeah, that, that doesn't interest me. Because we don't eat, the, I, I open a tin of spam, just spoon it and eat it like that. Yeah, I do too actually. Yeah. It's quite nice. But I like, we'll I like put some to steam. fresh chili on it and yeah. then. Yes. Yeah. So, we're going to get on with this, bearing in mind we've got a cookbook, which does, hey, hold on. We've got a cookbook, uh, this is the first edition, which is sold out. You can get the second edition from our website, which is pre-order. It might even be out by the time this video goes up, but I doubt it because it's still about, about 20, 15 to 25 days left before we receive. And today is the 6th of June. Yes, 6th yeah. No, 7th. 7th Sunday. of June. Oh yeah, 7th, 7th of June. Of June yeah. It's been massively held up and we do apologise for that. This was due to be printed in February, but the factory shut down that was uh, printing them. And they've been closed for three months. I did say two before, but they were February, March, April, oh, four months. They were nearly closed for four months. They had a backlog to do and then they got round to doing ours. They basically fast tracked this and then, yeah, so we're... I've paid extra to get try and get them here quicker. I can't do any more than that, and I really do apologise for everything for the hold up of this. It's honestly out of our hands. That, yeah, it is. It's a nature. Yeah. It is nature. And if you bought a pre-order, I've got to say this all the time because I get so many people emailing saying I ordered a book on the 25th of May or I ordered a book in April where I haven't received it yet. I was expecting it here quicker. It's a pre-order. If you've ordered after February, you've ordered a pre-order. They didn't exist. They've only just existed about two weeks ago. And we don't even have them in our hands. So that's why you don't have one yet. Okay? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get on with the cooking now. Yeah. Okay, so here we have the ingredients. It's quite simple. Right, okay, so we're gonna start off by going through what spam slash luncheon meat they would use. Historically, they would have used something like this. This uh, Marling brand luncheon meat. This used to be really nice, but it's gone downhill. Probably because they stopped putting all the bad stuff in it, but it's not as great as it used to be. This is what we're gonna be using today because it's readily available and actually quite nice. But this is what we use at home if we're gonna make this because this is really, really nice. That's superior. Yeah. I love, I really, I love it. <laughs> you do, don't you? Mum's always got a can of this open in the fridge, just eats it. Yeah. 
You can get this one, by all means, try it. And then try every single one you want. They are, they, even though they're very similar, they also have a very different flavour. Different texture. Well, yeah, different isn't texture. It? This yeah. is quite hard. Yeah. This is softer. Softer. And this is like got more chunks of actual Chunk meat. And it's soft and it's just succulent. Yeah, you really do like this, don't you? <laughs> I do. I do. And then we've got 360 grams of rice. That's a small amount to make. Probably feed three people or two Asian people, Chinese people, because we really like our rice. Um, Westerners tend to only eat small amounts compared to us. But yeah, for us, this is two portions, but for a lot of you out there, maybe three. Um, so, Four. yeah, we're going to teach you how to make this in a rice cooker because that's what we use. You can argue all you want, say it's actually quite easy to do it in a pan, but it's just a waste of time. You can, I can, while you're sitting watching your pan, I can now go and do something completely different and be more productive. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I said before, it's like using your grill to toast toast when you have a toaster. Everyone buys a toaster. I don't know some people out there are gonna go, well, actually I toast my toast under the grill. That's fine. But most people use toasters, just like most what Asian people use rice cookers. <laughs> I mean, you can just carry using on a pan, but get a rice cooker, they're cheap, and you won't look back. We've got some chilies to finish with, they're optional. We've got two stalks of spring onions, or scallions, wherever you're from. One whole egg. We've got some dark soy. Now, dark soy we use is ligumgi. You can use Pearl River as well. Pearl River is actually quite nice for this kind of food. Ligumgi is better for takeaway style food. It's, it's a much more subtle and sweet flavor, whereas the, the Pearl River, is way better with traditional style food. This this is one of the most important parts. You can use light soy, but we actually use like a seasoning sauce, in particular Maggie's. This is incredible stuff. We call it the posh oil sauce because this comes out when all the family members are here. Otherwise, if you don't have this, you can use Golden Mountain. I think it's Golden Mountain, isn't yeah. it? Golden Mountain is the next best thing, or you can use light. It won't taste the same. The flavor is completely different, completely different but it's amazing. So with these two, we're actually gonna spoon over with a teaspoon later on, because it's done to taste. You'll just see how many teaspoons we're using over the top. Yeah. Yeah, because it can change depending how much rice you got, what, how much cucumber sliced or whatever. Gonna need two tablespoons of vegetable oil or any neutral flavor oil. You don't want to use olive oil, you don't no. want to use anything with any flavor in it whatsoever. And just so you know, we're using these at the moment, these measuring things, because people seem to not believe us when we're measuring things out. And then we, last but not least, we've got cucumber. Now, this honestly makes the dish. If you don't use the cucumber, because you don't like it, trust me, I hate cucumber by itself, but in this dish, it works. Yeah, it just brings out the flavor. It does, doesn't it? It sort of cuts exactly. through the grease because it's going to be quite greasy because of the spam and the oil you're using. Well, you're going to understand later, but it really does add an extra dimension. Just try it and if you don't like it, don't use it again or pick it off the food, but you have to mix it together. We'll show you when we go to eat it anyway. And that's everything here. That's right. Yeah, so we will get on with this. Yes. We'll show you how to cut the cucumber and we won't show you how to cut the spam because that's fairly straightforward, but the cucumber is a little bit different. Bearing in mind, we like to show people steps that we feel that beginners would need because a lot of people that watch our channel are new to cooking. There's no pretension here. We're fully happy with chopping up something so someone can see how we do it. There's no gimmick in it. Yeah, well, that doesn't What's make sense. gimmick mean? <laughs> I know, I'll use this word. Um, a gimmick is, a gimmick is sort of like... Um, no lying. It's like something that's done to get you to want to do something and it doesn't really do anything. Oh, all right. Like... Not really real. Yeah. Like Schweppes did that amateur. What's Schweppes? Schweppes the drink. They had what? an advert where you could get like, um, if you bought two Schweppes yes. in glass bottles that were that yes. big, you got a free cup mm -hmm. like a gin glass yes that's a gimmick oh they get you to buy it yeah oh all right so it's not oh, i don't know so, that's a word for it now just said uh, no pretension no pretension yeah okay no no jumped up a-holes no jump up a-holes <laughs> we'll get all, we'll get all back to the cooking so we're going to show you how to uh, do the rice so we're going to get the water from the tap yeah, yeah. shall we yeah we'll get the water from the tap yeah we don't have to it's go it's the best the place carry. for water really yeah we don't have to dig up a hole or anything no in olden time we do we have to carry the water yeah mum actually did mum was poor poor when i say poor their family wouldn't eat for days until they got their food store so what you do is you're just rinsing the rice when you're getting all the starch out here you want to do this two or three times one more time yeah, yeah? one more time and now you fill the water up 
to a level to your second knuckle and you measure from the top a, yeah the top of the rice across don't stick your hand into the rice it's resting on the rice yeah there. i said second knuckle i meant for uh, first the, um, one measure uh, this when this small rice when you have more rice in it yeah so you're measuring from the top of the rice uh, and you don't no, not going down to the bottom don't of go the, like that not no. like that yeah you're measuring you're flattening out the rice and then your equal level across the board should be a mean of yeah yeah this one here second knuckle there and it works for everyone yeah you can do this in a pot if you want yeah waste your time it's fine <laughs> you will always someone's always says they can't stop it from getting like brown at the bottom that's always going to happen you're always going to have a little bit of waste when you use a, a rice cooker yeah there's no harm you can turn it upside down and just eat the the crisps somebody some people likes it yeah i know lex she loves it yeah. i said what he said yeah don't throw it away give it to me lex a thai lady who works for yeah. us yeah it's a back home only uh visitor were given to the face of it it was a tree was it yeah gratitude to the visitor oh, well. yeah or family elderly have it you know yeah. if you are the lower one not lower i mean like younger generation you don't get to eat it normally it's served to the throughout respect parent. The yes people. so after you've done all this all you need to do is put it in your rice cooker close the rice cooker and click cook and yes. then leave it Yes. and then you can go do everything else you can go else. away you can do a bit of it takes about 15 minutes to cook you can go and do a bit of aerobic exercise go on like that like that yeah or you like can, that. yeah like or, that. 15 yeah. minutes you can do a lot of things you can do you a lot can of things finish your program and your computer or listen to some music or go out in your garden that 15 minutes is very important or you or you do you prefer to stand at the stove and watch your rice to Cool. Wait, wait, someone's gonna go, someone's gonna, <laughs> someone's gonna type, oh, I don't stand and watch the rice cook, I just know when it's done. Well, well done for you, mate. Yeah. Just get a rice cooker. Now we're gonna cut the cucumber. Cut a tip here, wait. And don't cut it all off, cut it halfway so you get a, a bit to tear off your cucumber. Cucumber. We're only gonna make one one dish, portion, so, so we're about that much yeah, then, about yeah? About a quarter of a cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter, you don't have to uh, all in line, okay? Yeah, you're just roughly cutting it. Roughly, you just want yeah. Shreds. Shred it, alright? Just go down like that. There's no rush, it's not a competition, okay? Yeah. Well, except when we're at work, we. Yeah. <laughs> we cut much faster than this yeah. when we're at work. If you cut like that, you'll be here forever. Yeah, you wouldn't get any prep done, would you? No. But the whole point is just to show the people who don't know how to do it how to do it yes. slowly and safely. That's right, there's no showing off, alright? Yeah. And that's that. We'll get on with the cooking. We're going to cut the spam, but we won't show you how to do that. So, we've cut the slices. They are only about, say, a centimetre thick. Yeah, roughly. So we're going to use three of those in the pan. We're going to put this on the heat. I forgot to mention earlier, you will need another pan with some oil in to fry your egg. So we're going to put all your oil into this. I'm going to turn it to a medium-high heat, not a high-high heat. Just let it warm up. Yeah, you don't want this really hot either because what you're, no. you're trying to slowly cook the ingredients in this you were looking forward to this because you thought we were going to use this one here weren't you? yeah i did <laughs> we're going to put in the luncheon meat and you're basically trying to render it down like you would bacon yeah so it's crispy on the outside throw spring onions in and this as well you want to make the flavor it makes a lot of flavor the oil is what we use as a dressing and you might think that doesn't sound very nice but trust me if you make the same thing and don't do the same thing with spring onions, the flavour is not there, is it? Yeah. Don't say, oh, don't like that. Just try it before you say anything, alright? You want to say try it before you buy it then, don't you? No, try it before you say anything that you don't like it. You're not supposed, you're not doing this, doing that. That's how we, we, we like, do it like this and get the best, um, what's the word? Flavour? Yeah, best flavour out of it. I'll try and get my cousin to send a photo of his food he goes out next but I'm, i have a feeling he just got married so i have a feeling he's not gonna oh, to eat that much go out yeah it. exactly yeah hi andrew do you want to say hello to andrew man hi andrew don't forget all right yeah when you go out take picture send it to us yeah lives in singapore yes and he is singaporean isn't he? Was he yeah. Born there? yeah yeah he's singaporean yeah, yeah la, singapore la. singaporean uh -huh. mm. yeah you can see the onion is beginning to shrivel up taking yeah. some moisture out of the spring onion the onions need to be going brown as well. Yeah. You want to turn your lunch meat every now and then. 
that. You see that browning? Browning very, very nicely. And the uh, onion is getting a bit crisp. So you can see the onions are starting to brown really nicely. You want them to render down a little bit more. Keep, just keep continuously turning your spam over because you want there to be like a nice little crust on it. This whole process takes about five minutes. Yeah, around that. And that also, also depends on how thick the spam you cut. Yeah, that's how all of them should look like, have this little brownish tinge to it. So they've been caramelized and just lots of deliciousness. Honestly, it makes a whole world of difference in, on a dish. We did want to, yeah, it is getting there. Yeah. We did want to serve this in our restaurant, but we just thought people wouldn't get it, so we didn't. Yeah. Even though it's like mega. Mega big. Mega big in the Far East. I just don't think it's, the, the people, we didn't think the people were ready for it yet. No. Did we? No. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> what movie is that from? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Who is it? I have no idea, I just know it's a movie, but I think it's Jack Nicholson or something. Was it the cuckoo? One cuckoo no. nest? That was a good film, wasn't it? I've, I've never seen it. Yeah, Jack Nicholson, one fly over the cuckoo nest. See, that's perfect there. Yeah. That is exactly what you're looking for. It's a nice crust oh. on the outside. Yep, yeah. it's ready. Ready? Ready, ready! <laughs> it's ready la, ma. Yeah, ready la. Okay, now you take this off the heat, because this will heat. continue to cook, to cook for a little, little bit. Because the pan is hot. And then we're going to put the egg on. Yeah. And we're going to make a crispy egg. This is how we would traditionally make eggs. We don't make them like a lot of Western places do. The yeah. outside of ours are crispy and brown. So you need your oil hot, really. Yes, it is, yeah. They both spit, though. When I first came over to England, they asked me, do you want to fry egg? I said, yeah! When I look at the egg, I said, oh my God. It was uh, it was so... Unappetizing. Yeah, quite... Uh, I don't know, was it like quite oily like that? The oil was not cooked off. Yeah. I couldn't even eat it. Just going to take the spam out of the oil, put it to the side, otherwise that will absorb the oil back up and you want to keep this oil to season the to rice. Season the rice. Look at that. <laughs> you hear this crispiness of the yeah. air? Yeah. Anyway. Non stick, the best is silicon. Yeah, you won't ruin your pants. Yeah. I still think this is the, my best silicon bachelor I had for years now. I used to have three, there's a red one, a black one and a purple. The more oil for making a crispy egg, the better to be honest. Yes. We probably haven't put enough in here. Yeah, but no. Should we add yeah, some? Yeah, we'll add more. Because the pan is uh, in the center, is high, and it's dispersed out to the side there. You see what I mean? Yeah. What you're watching paint dry, isn't it? The pan is now hot. Yep. So we're going to start building this. So we have our boiled rice. We're just going to take it out of the rice cooker as it is. You can use as little as much as you want. So we're just going to do a, a large-ish portion of rice. Because we like rice. Yeah. And then what you want to do is season the first layer with just the maggies. So you're going to just put a teaspoon, two teaspoons of the maggies on the first layer. And a teaspoon of the seasoning, a little bit of the oil. Now you build the rest of it up. So you're gonna have your cucumber goes on first. Like I said, try it with the cucumber first before you dismiss it. Then your egg, you want it sort of, you want it falling on top of the cucumber a little bit like that. And as I pull this in, we're gonna take these three. One, three, oh, look at that. Yeah, yum. How good does that look? Now you season it. You're going to need probably about three tablespoons of this Maggi sauce. It is fairly salty. That's two. Three. If it's not salty enough for you, just add more. You're going to need just a couple of drops of this dark. So just drop it all on the top of the egg. So what I'm literally doing here is putting my spoon into the sauce, picking up a tiny amount on the end like that, and then dropping it over the top. Then you want your lovely onions and oil. More of this, the better, to be honest. It's not going to be greasy, uh, greasy it's not on gr the rice because there were nothing in the rice there. Yeah. It's just the flavor of the, the, the oil and the onion, and it just, Bring it to another dimension. Yeah, makes it amazing, doesn't it? Yes. And then... Last but least is chilies. the chilli. You just put them on as and where you want them, really. 
You don't have to have the chilies. We have chilies all the time on it yes. just because we think they're fantastic. But if you don't like chilies, by all means, don't use them. Completely personal preference. And there you go. God. Yeah, I was making my forward to eat that now. So we're gonna try this on camera for you in a minute. So here we have it. We forgot to tell you what the name was at the beginning, and that's because I don't know it. What is it? Wu Tan Lo. Do you want to explain to people what that means? Wu Tan lunch and Wu Tan mean uh, lunch time. So lunch meat. So the way you eat this, you don't eat it in little parts. You take a little bit of everything. You know, like doing Master Chef. That's the way that you you're supposed to eat a street food dish. A lot of people when they come to our restaurants can't understand that even though we say it in our, our menus and stuff they go oh it was a bit salty and then we go yeah mix it up with everything and then they turn and go ah that's amazing that's exactly what you're meant to do so you're meant to like mix up the rice here you get a bit of the yolk you crack the yolk you put the bit of the yolk on and then you get your luncheon meat and you eat it all as one mm. Mm. get the coolness from the cucumber spring onion flavor is so subtle but so, I can't explain it. You know it's there, but you don't know what the flavour is. Well, I, obviously I do know the flavour because I've eaten these kind of spring onions many times in my life and this kind of basic food. But it doesn't taste like spring onion or what you'd think a cooked spring onion would taste like. Do you know what I mean? Mmm, it's too busy eating. So there you go, for our first ever street food dish on our channel, we've just shown you how to cook Spam. Yeah. But it's amazing. Mm. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Really try and give this a go. If you trust us, don't let this go by because this is a, like, a little hidden gem. And once you have it once, you'll have it like every day for the next week. We used to do this for those people who worked for us in yeah. our first takeaway. We explained it to them and they went, oh, sounds a bit shit. And then when we gave it to them, this is all they asked for. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on our videos. We have a web store where we sell a lot of these products, especially the Chinese takeaway goods. We will be expanding our store as we do more dishes so you know where you can get your products from. Yes. Mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. You're way more worried about continuing eating, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs>